DJ Pro's 5.0 update is finally here, and in this video, we'll find out what we actually get, and more importantly, what we lose with this update. You can no longer use Tidal streaming service with Neuromix, and it's kind of sad because they redid the whole Neuromix, and they made it sound so much better. It's like almost perfect. You cannot even tell that you removed stuff. But you can't use it with Tidal Streaming Service, which for me, I believe is the best streaming service. And I believe if you plan on starting to DJ with the iPad, that you should DJ with Tidal Streaming Service as your music source. So I'm not going to go join a record pool or download stuff from iTunes to get all my music just to use Neuromix. So for me, I'm done with Neuromix. So that is what it is. Next thing we get is a whole new menu. So we all got used to opening up the menu and having the top strip up there where we can easily go classic mode, pro mode, wherever we want. Now you got to press the middle button and then kind of scroll through this menu, which to me is kind of harder than going from classic to pro, but I, I guess it's, it'll be good in the long run. But anyway, we get starter mode. What is starter mode? Starter mode is a stripped down version of classic mode. So this is classic mode. This is starter mode. Starter mode, you can only control your jog wheel. You could add your songs. You have BPM, and then you have not a crossfader, but a mixer. So the big new feature is these crossfader mixer effects. I'll get to that after, but that's that. So in this mode, you are meant to play your songs, and then when you want to transition, you choose one of these, these transitions, And it does a perfect transition. It syncs the beats together, syncs the tempo together, and you do a perfect transition without knowing how to do transitions. It's amazing. They did such a great job uh, on programming it, and it works really well. So if it's your first day DJing, you could just log into your streaming service, load up a playlist, and then start mixing like this and doing these perfect transitions with these with these mixer with these crossfader effects. But here is the downside. So now we got this effects button here. We could use our effects, but we only get the pad. We don't have on and off or anything like that. We do get all of our effects. We have this here, which is the instant effects. It's So we have pad, we have instant effects. And then over here, a really cool view of our samples. Looks really cool. But the thing is, what if I want to change this sample pack? you can't change the sample pack inside this screen. So look at these samples here. If I wanted to change the sample pack, I gotta go back to classic mode, open up the sampler, change the sample pack, go back to starter, and then there you go. So it's great that they're including stuff for new DJs, but did we really need this? I don't know, but I'm glad they did it for the new DJs. It's great to see people starting the DJ and you could get overwhelmed from all the buttons and knobs. So that is one of the biggest things. So if you've been using the app for a while, you probably aren't gonna be too thrilled about this because you're gonna use the features that are in classic and pro mode. But that is one of the biggest features that we get. So we lose uh, Neuromix with title, but we get a stripped down classic mode. That's what we get. Next is our waveforms, they made the waveforms look so beautiful. This is gonna look great for my thumbnails, but it's really not gonna affect my DJing at all. I'm not really a big technical uh, waveform uh, doing these long drawn out beat mixes. I like to kind of do, kind of do um, faster transitions and stuff like that. And then also if you DJ with songs that have different tempos in the same song, it detects it. And again, it's amazing the technology that they have. It's super, super good program. They, they got it so good. A lot of professional DJs have been testing this out and they cannot find anything wrong with it. And then you could also go over here, go to our cue point section, go all the way to the right where it says skip, and then, or it might say slice, and we get a drop down menu to edit the grid. This gives you full control on editing the grid. A lot of people in my comments been asking me if there was a way to edit the grid better. So now you have it. But for me and a lot of my followers who just DJ for their friends and family, and it's more of like a hobby, then you're probably not gonna be doing this. You're probably not even gonna go to this screen at all. So it's not really going to affect you. 
And the audio quality is good, uh, is better. They say they improved it. It sounds really great. But again, you're probably not going to notice if you just DJ at your house with like Bluetooth speakers or something like that. You'd notice it more if you were in the club with a ten thousand dollar sound system. So that is what we get. We lose Nero Mix. We get cool. We lose Nero Mix with Title. We got a more beautiful app. Not only the not only the waveforms, but the whole color contrast. Everything looks beautiful. So that is a plus. We get this different way to select the menu, which I guess we'll get used to. And then we get that starter mode. So that is the update. Um, I wanted to explain it to you as quickly as possible so you guys know. And if you want to learn the best, if you want to know what I think are the best iPad DJ controllers, check out this video over here.